Hey Star Wars fans and Black Series collectors, we've got Axe Woves this time from The Mandalorian uh, chapter 11 of season 2, or the third episode of season 2, chapter 11 overall. Um, yeah, this is one I, I did pick up last week, um, couldn't help myself but to open it before, my, before doing the review, so I just have the uh, guts of the packaging here. Nice picture of Axe on the side there. And on the back, it just says, a skilled warrior, Axe Woves is loyal to Bo-Katan and is a member of, of a band of Clan Kree's Mandalorians uh, striking back at the Imperial Remnant. He's number 25. He's recently just sort of coming out here in Australia over the last couple of weeks. So yeah, really, really glad to have this one in the collection to go with Koska and Bo-Katan. Um, when I eventually get to get them out of storage, these three will display very nicely together. And we just literally just got the uh, Vintage Collection version too, which I have reviewed. So yeah, again, this one is sort of suffering from helmet, helmet, I don't know, helmet problems. Much like the uh, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett that sort of had that warped, plasticky helmet. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, it just, it, it's not... I don't, I've, I've worked out a little solution, but, um, you know, it would be ideal for swap out heads again for this figure, that much like the uh, vintage collection version. Um, so we'll get a look at his head, which I think looks reasonably good. And you know, he's kind of got a little bit of that sort of sweaty sheen, um, which is just, you know, the paint. And I do think the vintage collection one's likeness is superior to this one um i think this one looks all right a bit of a matte spray over the face just to get rid of that so the shine might might aid it but um well, yeah i don't know what it is there's just something about it it's just yeah it's not quite there for me but um you know overall the mandalorian figure himself is really good he's got a unique belt and this sort of this belt and that sort of padding there is unique to this guy. Got his armor and boots and, you know, a few little missing paint apps there where it could be like, you know, silver parts done on the uh, side bits there and, but overall not too fussed about that. It does come with a single blaster pistol, which looks nice. And that will fit in his holster there on the back. The jet pack, which I have actually glued in at this point, um, just because it was quite loose and prone to falling out. And I sort of just decided, well, I'm not going to display them without it, so I might as well just stick it on there and have it permanent. Which is fine, you know, I'm not upset about having to do that. That's not the first time. Um, but yeah, the shoulder pads, you know, they're that sort of linked in, sort of soft rubber joint that goes into the uh, shoulders there. Overall, the colour of his armour looks good. Not as heavy into the blue as as uh, Costco Reeves. Here she had a lot of blue. But yeah, he's not too bad. But yeah, here's the helmet. And, you know, out of the packaging, it's a little bit sort of... I don't know. You play with some hot water and shape it up a little bit again. I've just gone for sticking a little bit of blue tack in there, but I might try the, the uh, you know, the hot water trick, shape it up a little bit and uh, run it under some cold water just to get it to sort of settle. But um, it's quite big for the head. I'm not sure whether it's just me, but having that sort of the blue tack on the sides just helps sort of push it out a little bit. Otherwise it looks a little bit squashed in. And uh, yeah, I think Hasbro really need to work out what they're going to do with Mando helmets. Considering we have some good Boba Fett helmets that they could have just repainted. Um, particularly the Boba Fett helmets on the on the new newest versions of Boba Fett, like the Tython and the uh, Throne Room one. You know, they're really nice sculpt, and they sort of sit on the head nicely. So I'm not sure this one. I don't know. It could just be mine. I might just needs a bit of reshaping or something with some hot water. Just got squashed in the packaging, but um, once it's sort of once you sort of find its spot, 
it does look pretty good. Could also just be, I find the the gray ring around the top. I think that I think that sort of tricks you into thinking the helmet looks bigger. Um, <laughs> I know the vintage collection one was quite big, um, which you know that would have benefited from a swap out head, but um, never mind. I'm I'm just. But yeah, not a bad figure at all. I think he's. I think it's a nice addition. I'm glad we have him. Um, Axe Wove's part of the crew now. I know we've definitely been uh, blessed with Mandalorians in these last couple of years, and uh, I say bring on more. It looks like we're going to be getting more with the uh, season three coming out in the next couple of months, a few months. But yeah, please send out the comments. Let me know what you think. Got a couple more Mandalorian themed reviews coming right up, just to sort of finish up this wave. So we'll get on to them and uh, yeah, stay tuned for them and we'll see you on the next one. May the Force be with you.